Hello everyone this is Kushagr welcome to our YouTube channel Dev Town if you like the content do like share and subscribe to our channel so we'll be seeing a series of videos required for you to get a good understanding of web development so students in the previous video we have talked about a uh, rem and what is m so we would be continuing that uh, that is the same topic that is size units and we would be talking today about your viewport height and viewport width so what is viewport height and what is viewport width we would be looking in today's video so let me just quickly create one html file that is vh underscore vw dot html and let me just quickly generate the boilerplate code and change the title to vh and vw size units and let me just quickly dispose the server and start the server again so as you can see the server is started and before moving towards the main topic let me just uh, tell you one more thing so students in the previous video comments there was a lot of comments like why i am uh, jumping directly towards the css and uh, where are the basic videos i should start from basic and what about the beginner so a lot of students were asking like uh, let uh, just give me the basic videos basic introduction to html so students i have already created the videos on the introduction to html part so this is the playlist uh, from where you can get access so if you have not bookmark it so do bookmark it and you can subscribe and like to our channel as well if you like the content so that's all let me just quickly shift back towards the vs code and start our today's topic so as you can see let me just quickly create one div that is with a class container so as you can see there is one div with a class container and inside this we would be having three h1 tags with a class uh, sorry id of your first second and third so let me just quickly give them the id that is your first as we have done in the previous video we would be moving ahead with that same html content and we would be doing a little bit of changes in the css part today so that is the second and that's how we go with the third so as you can see i have given the classes to all the part let me just quickly give them some content as well so yeah yeah let me just delete this heading and let me just change this to sec second and over here let me just shift back and change this to uh, sorry this should be second and this should the last one should be third and this one should be third so as you can see the heading is changed and let me just give some style part over here so let me just select the h1 tag and again say text align to center so as you can see the text aligned is towards the center and the text is changed and all the things are doing going well and the output is as expected so now what i'll do i will quickly uh, give some go towards the container part c o n t a yeah container and quickly say some border towards this border let me just say the border of 3 pixels solid let's say red so let me just check whether the border is there um i think there is some issue 3 pixel solid red yeah as you can see the border is there and uh, now let me just give some width and uh, height as well so let me just say width as 400 pixels and height 
as say 100 pixels so as you can see um it's a little bit less let me just increase the height to 300 pixels yeah as you can see now it's perfectly fine so quite a few times students what you have tried like you want this border or this uh, box to be like over here like let's say if you want this box this type this towards your viewport width you want this border to be of viewport width and viewport height so what you do what you try to increase this viewport height and you keep on increasing it and that's how it goes on it goes on and say let's say you give it as say 1000 pixels so it's not let me just say as 2000 pixels so you would be getting this scroll bar and then again you thought of like this is not appropriate let me just increase it a little bit more so you went for 3000 pixels so you have done this many times so this is how it goes on but this is this is a correct option if you will say i will not say this is wrong but this is not a proper way to do it so how to do it how to achieve the same thing in a proper way so if you want let me just refresh and show it to you again so now if you want this border to be taken off your viewport uh viewport width so what let me just quickly tell you what is viewport so let me just shift back towards my whiteboard and quickly explain you what is viewport let's say your window size is this much let's say this is your laptop screen and inside this you have opened your google chrome so this much so there would be some kind of plastic that would be attached into your uh, laptop so this is the plastic and uh, over here this is your main screen from where your screen is starting and inside this screen this is your uh, chrome open so some of the width would be taken by the chrome and less rest all would be your white part or your browser area from where you can see so this browser area from where this white part starts so this is known as your viewport so viewport is nothing but this is the white part that we see on the screen let me just quickly show you so this white part which you can see from here till here let me just show you from here till here and from here till here so if you have focused on my cursor so this is your viewport the area from uh, where your your code starts or from the top corner from here till here these all things comes under your viewport so this is your viewport so if you want your uh, container to be taken as viewport so you can do it very easily so you what you have to do is you have to just give 100% vh that is viewport height so if you will give 100% vh as you can see it's taking the 100% of your viewport height so now this is fine as you can see it's taking the 100% let me just quickly tell you how it's happening so let me just quickly shift back towards the style and select this part and let me just tell you so as you can see whenever i am uh, sorry i am increasing it over here so as you can see whenever i am decreasing it it's adjusting accordingly so how it's adjusting so if i will say uh, let me just give it as 50 vh so as you can see this is 50 50 percent of my viewport height so how it's calculating basically so as you can see it will take the whole whole height uh, say let's say my whole height uh, over here is 8 uh, let's say 494 into 2 so approx around 900 is my viewport height so it what it will do it will take the whole height and it will take 50 percent of that so let's say my whole whole uh, height is say 8 800 pixels and it will multiply by 50 and then divide by 100 so that's how it calculates and that much height it will take so if for 4 800 it would be the 400 and in the similar way it's calculating so if it takes how much percentage be assigned so if we will say 100 percent so it will take 100 percent of our viewport height so let's say our viewport height is 800 so in this case it will take whole 800 so in the similar way it's the viewport width as well so if you say 100 percent vw it will take the 100 percent of your viewport height let me just quickly close this and show you as you can see it's taking the 100% of my viewport 
so this is the viewport height and viewport width student so i hope that you have got what is viewport height and what is viewport width so if there is any issues and any doubts you can comment it in the comment section and i would be replying to that so that's all about today's video students thank you i would be seeing you in the next video so that's all